In this movie, I'm going to talk about the difference between bringing in PowerPoint content and bringing in PDFs. There are advantages and disadvantages to both, and I want to show that to you. So when you're bringing content like that in, you need a share pod. I happen to have one open here, but if you didn't have one open, you could go to the pods menu and go to share and choose add new share and it would give you a new one. I'm just going to load it in here just to show you how easy it is. You can grab the corners and just go in and resize it. Now when I'm bringing in content like that and what I'd like to do is show you a PDF and a PowerPoint, I could go in here to share document and browse and find the document. I happen to have content already loaded in share pods so I'm going to bring it in just for time's sake. So it's already in share pods it's just not showing right now. So to find it I'm going under the pods menu to share and I'm going to PDF. So here's my PDF file. I'll bring that one in first and I guess I have to resize it. There we go. All right, so here's a PDF and it looks a little funky because it's too small. If you look at the bottom, I have a lot of different controls. I can flip through the pages here or I can type into the field the exact page number I want. This has 60 slides, so if I'm on slide one, I don't want to hit this button 59 times. I can just go in here and type 60 and hit return and it will take me there. Here I can zoom in and out with just some preset zooms. That's never good enough for me because I want this to be exact. This is the disadvantage that I think of with PDFs. It just takes me forever to get this sized exactly the way I want it. So here's 210, that's not big enough. I have to try 230, that's not quite big enough. I want it to be exact, that's the only problem that I have with it. The other thing is that no interactions work with PDFs at all. They're perfectly fine to use and I do use them, but the two issues that I have are resizing it to get the size exactly right and also the fact that my interactions don't work. Otherwise, they work beautifully. They come in looking exactly as they were saved and they are a really, really good option. And again, you can also use those later if you want in a file share pod, if you wanted to uh, give it to people to download, a PDF is a great option. That way they can't go in and take your content as they could with a uh, PowerPoint. So that was the PDF and I'm going to put this one away now. So this is a common mistake a lot of people make. I don't want to go in here and stop sharing. That's actually going to remove the content from the pod altogether. So all I want to do is put it away for now. So I'm going up here to the pod options and choosing hide. So again, stop sharing is going to remove the content altogether. Here I just want to hide it for now. So I'm just going to choose hide. And anytime I want to get that one back up again, it's right here under pods share. So I had all these empty ones in the background. That's why this is showing. So now I'm going to bring up the PowerPoint to show you the difference. I had already preloaded it. Now this was a 11 meg PowerPoint, which is a little big for a PowerPoint, but I'm a graphics person, so that's why it's so big. Now I've done some things here just to show you one of a couple key advantages to working with PowerPoints. It automatically sizes correctly for the pod, which I love. But another thing I really love is that I added actions to a couple places on this PowerPoint so I could show you that the actions work in uh, Connect. So down here, the forward button, I put a little action on it and I've got actions here on the first couple pages so you can see that I'm clicking on these buttons and going back and forth. So that was done in PowerPoint just by adding actions. And the other thing I want to show you is if I go through here a little bit further, just another example of what's possible. This is just a game that I created and just to show you that I can use my um, actions in PowerPoint and go in here and create a game. So here, for example, you know, I just have one set up, but just to show you, I can click on this, go in and talk about whatever I wanted to show and then click here and get back to that page again. So all the actions work in Connect and that's one key reason that I love it. Um, another one is if you go down here are your little left and right arrows. You can see that I don't have as many controls as I did with PDF, but that doesn't bother me so much. I'm going to click here on sidebar. Now I didn't name these because I just don't do that. But if you named every slide, this would be a great way, for example, if you're a teacher and you're using a PowerPoint deck 
and you're running late on class and you want to skip through a couple slides but you don't want to make it obvious, you can click that little sidebar that only shows on the host or presenter screen, not for the participants. And then you can skip ahead to another slide and then you know do it smoothly and nobody saw that you flipped ahead five slides. So, so anyway, this is just a little bit about the, the difference between using uh, PowerPoint and using PDF files in Adobe Connect.